Now, Hannah Glast, she first published in, 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 in 1747, and her book was in print for over, for um, nearly a hundred years, it was very popular throughout the 18th century, it was one of the first cookbooks published in the new United States in the early 19th, 18th, early 19th century. And she has a note on one of her recipes, note, some flour will soak up a quart or three pints more water than other flour. Then you must add more water or shake in more flour in making up for the dough must be as light as possible. All right. In other words, guys, this is not a chemistry set. This isn't a matter that you put in three grains of this and one grain of that, and you're gonna get a beautiful explosion. But if you only put in two grains of this and one grain of that, nothing will happen. And if you put in four grains and one, again, nothing will happen. There is nothing as precise as that. This is not like tempering chocolate, where yes, it makes a really big difference whether you're at you know, this small temperature range when you're tempering it. So it is by nature a process that requires you pay attention to the dough. And we're gonna get into that next week, uh, in two weeks, because Markham, um, actually not just Markham, but, but, but Maison Rustique has the smartest advice for the baker ever, ever, ever published, which is pay attention to your dough. So we're always pay attention to the dough, but we're talking about recipe today. And this poses a fundamental problem to writing bread recipes, which is the recipes are often, and we're gonna watch this process develop, becoming, and, and are certainly now, very, very precise. Put in this amount of water, this amount of that. I'm teaching you baker's math. It's 60% it's, it's, it's of water, not 61, not 59, not 63. Well, that's probably, that's not really true. 